Hi guys, it's me your mom Je. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you like and subscribe. For today's video, I'm gonna share with you some interesting math trivia. Number one, a dodecahedron has 12 pentagonal sides. Number two, some mathematical celebrations. March 14, Pi Day. June 28, Tau Day. October 10, Metric Day. Number three, if you decide to multiply 21,978 by 4, the result will be the complete reversal of the original number. Number four, the symbol for infinity was used by the Romans to represent 1,000. Number 5. There are more than 64 squares on a chess board. If you count the squares made up of multiple squares, there are 204 altogether. Number 6. The numbers on opposite sides of dice always add up to 7. Number 7. Every odd number has an E in it. Number 8. Negative 40 degrees Celsius is equal to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 9. Common year is equal to 365 days. There are exactly 31,536 seconds. Leap year. There are exactly 31,622,400 seconds. Number 10. Palindromic number is a number that remains the same when its digits are reversed. 11 is the only palindromic number that has even digits. Saint Hubert is the patron saint of mathematics. The patterns of seeds within sunflower follow the Fibonacci sequence. The division slash is called virgule. J and K are the only letters not in any numbers when written in words. The mathematical name for number sign is octotorphy. The polygon with 1 million sides is called megagon. Two thousand five hundred twenty is the smallest number that is divisible by one, two, three, up to ten. The correct mathematical name of the division bar in a fraction is called vinculum. The number zero is originally called cipher. Eighteen is the only number that is twice the sign of its digits. The mathematical name for the division sign is called abelius. Google is the term used for the number 1 followed by 100 zeros and was first used by 9-year-old Milton Sirota in 1940. The number 2 is the only prime number that does not have an E in its name. From 0 to 1000, the letter A only appears in 1000.
It should take no more than 20 moves to solve a Rubik's Cube no matter which of the 43 quintillion possible starting positions you begin with. Thanks guys for watching, hope you've learned something for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.